Hi, this is James Gardner at Cine Tech Geek, and I'm at CinemaCon 2019 at the Barco slash Cineonic booth, and I'm here with Tom Burt. And um, again, uh, Barco, every, most of the years I come, they seem to um, have the product of the show. And behind me, uh, we couldn't get too close because there's just too many people around it, is their new projector, right? Tom, can you tell us about your new projector this year? Hi, what we're launching this year is what we call Series 4. It's the next generation of uh, projection for cinema. It's a new design from the ground up that we actually started three years ago. And what we did is we used the brand new 4K compact chip from TI. And we combine that with a brand new RGB laser light source. And the end result is a system that's now 4K RGB at, let's say, a, a compact volume and price point for the mainstream market. So, um, wow, that, that's a lot of um, nexus of different um, characters coming together to make a new product. Um, one of the more exciting things this year I want to mention right now is that there's a lot of this year and a lot of the coverage I'm doing is that you know, DCI's talking a lot about uh, well, Cinema 2.0 or uh, expanding on the capability of the picture and there's a lot of talk going here and I noticed in the presentation that your your product is upgradable to this next generation or I saw a demonstration of your light steering technology is uh, very very impressive and this projector is capable of uh, being retrofitted with that is that correct? Yeah so when we say AGR ready Yes. That is for us the linked to the light steering technology that we demonstrated at CinemaCon 2018. Yep. That product is uh, currently in development. Uh, what we're showing this year is actually using the same architecture, the same building blocks, the same concepts that will come back in our HDR light steering product. So practically that means a customer that buys into Series 4 today already took that first step towards, HDR, towards the HDR product. So when he does take the step, it means he already has laid the foundations. He will not have to buy a completely new product and still end up with an AGR system on the screen. Yeah, so I like to bring back to examples of this. So, for example, your previous generation, um, you were able to upgrade most of or most of that product to your laser laser engines without having to replace the whole projector. And this is again what sort of this is what we're happening again with this new series. But from instead of from laser from lamp to laser we're going from from a, a laser projector but a laser with high dynamic range will be the up, upgrade path there correct so Barco finds it important to launch products that are future proof yes. that customers yeah. can extend on yes. and we're doing that now again yes. so exactly how we do that rate of it different options are available or are being discussed different options will be available but the the ground foundation is still invest today and you have invested for the future now let's go over a few of the characteristics because um, there's a lot to this projector than just these the new chip and the the primary laser. Just just quickly go over the primary laser. So why is the primary laser uh, so important? Well, because um, you're lowering your power usage significantly over the 10 years. Um, literally, you'll save tens of thousands of dollars. It really depends. Get get your spreadsheet out. But it, again, you just need to have a quick look at that, and and it'll prick your ears up and you'll be wanting to have a look at this projector. So there's one issue. Um, another issue, and we'll do it uh, another video on it after this, is the um, they're taking the approach of um, the light source. Like our old days, we like the fact that if a lamp fails, we can replace it. Well, on these new projectors, if a laser module fails, you can replace that in the field as well. We'll do a video on that in a sec because that's I, I think that's one of the most significant um, safety blankets, if you would, would um, for the exhibitor, knowing that if they buy a big, new, fantastic laser projector, if the if the light source fails, it's not like buy a new projector. It's like the good old days. If a lamp fails, you just go out and you replace the lamp in the field. And this is what we have now with laser. So that's a fantastic development um, for um, these new pro projectors. But let's go quickly looking at there's new capabilities. Um, this new chip has faster capabilities, and that really indicates a, a modification or upgrades coming down the the track for ICMPs or the media block. So what's going on there? So one of the features of the new chip, apart from the fact that it's 4K and a compact footprint, is its ability to do 4K 120. Mm. So the interface from the electronics to the projector, so to the engine, that's a 4K 120 ready interface. The ICMP that we're launching it with today is based on the existing generation. That's still 4K 60 capable, not yet 4K 120. But it's a, for us a kind of a fast track interim solution to make it a Series 4 4K 60 system. And we have future plans to 
bring that new ICMP to market that will make the whole system 4K 120 capable. Mm. That's right. So an interim product to enter the, the new capabilities of this new stunning projector. Um, but yes, uh, again, the first thing I'd like to say when I always do these demonstrations is that really what you need to do is contact your local Barco or Cineoxonic people. And I'm sure these projectors will be making the rounds for demonstrations in the near future. And lastly, uh, the issue that I really want to talk about on this product and all on laser in general and the biggest issue with laser that we've pretty much been that I've had with laser is the speckle mitigation in this project projector is outstanding. We did in the demonstration here today, yep. we did a 3D with a with a high gain typical uh, silver screen. And um, a lot of people, like, I couldn't really see the speckle. And those are the sorts of environments where lasers just don't do well with speckle. How do you do it, guys? How do you do it? It's just a fantastic technology. Um, and you were telling me before, this is the sort of, you're bringing down or, mi or minimizing or making more micro the technology used in your primary projectors. Is that, is that the case? That's correct. So we started actually investigating laser op possibilities as a light source already in 2007. So we understand how to mitigate speckle. It's about wavelength diversity, polarization diversity, mechanical diversity. And we first productized that in 2014 on our flagship laser line. And what we bring here now in Series 4 are exactly the same tricks, exactly the same magic, but now in a mainstream format. So it's in a uh, volume projector and at a price point for the mainstream, but ex applying exactly the same speckle mitigation and speckle solutions that we already have proven in flagship laser for more than five years. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Tom, uh, for taking us through this new projector. Uh, and we'll, we'll get we'll get onto a few other issues in some next videos, but thank you. And bye for now for, from uh, CinemaCon 2019 with Barco's new laser announcement. Very impressive. Catch you later. Bye for now.